Is it finally coming home for England? That is the question on everyone's mind after England's performance in the World Cup opener against Iran this morning. What is going on guys? It is Catch back again with another video on the channel. Please do like, share and subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss an upload. I will be uploading pretty much every day of the World Cup as it is uh, this tournament. So please do not miss an upload. Anyway, we begin with England thrashing Iran 6-2 in their opener at the World Cup and Gareth Southgate's men were on fire. Jude Bellingham, Bukaya Saka got a double, Raheem Sterling, Marcus Rashford and Jack Grealish all on the score sheet as England put six past their hapless Iranian opponents. We did get two back through Mehdi Taremi, but England are looking very menacing from the outset. Also in this morning's other games, the Netherlands managed to fight off a brave Senegal and beat them 2-0 thanks to late goals from Cody Gakpo in the 84th minute and Davy Klassen in the 99th minute of stoppage time. If you didn't know, um, it, uh, not EA, yeah, FIFA have uh, actually mandated now to add as much time on that needs to be playable to stop time wasters, which I think is a good move. But you're probably going to see a lot of games go 9 or 10 minutes plus into stoppage time. Um, but anyway, Netherlands off to a good start. Senegal are going to have a lot of work cut out for them if they to get out of this group. Gareth Bale, meanwhile, came to Wales' rescue with an 82nd minute penalty as they managed to salvage a point in their group game against the United States. The US took the lead through George Weah's son, Timothy Weah. But unfortunately for the United States, it was not enough as Gareth Bale managed to convert his penalty from a spot and the game ended one one all and it actually is giving the group a pretty good poise right now england are definitely top but wales and usa can still climb out of the group as well as iran but iran obviously have that negative goal difference so they're definitely going to struggle to get out even if they do manage it meanwhile in the opening game of the world cup Anna Valencia of Ecuador managed to score two goals. He actually scored a third goal, but was ruled out via VAR for offside. Um, but anyway, his two goals managed to get Ecuador plus the, the host Qatar. And Qatar now have the unwanted history of being, being the first nation to lose their opening, uh, well, being the host nation to lose the first game of the World Cup for 92 years. So that's unfortunate for Qatar, but we'll see if they can uh, get out of the group. I very much doubt they'll even get a point. But anyway, that has been the end of this video. A very quick one, a very short one, just more or less a recap of the morning's results. I hope you all had a lovely day and I'll see you on the next video very, very shortly. Have a great one, guys. See ya. Bye.